My name is Dennis Chilomingras, and I'm an assistant professor in the uh, Department of Family Medicine and Public Health Sciences. I uh, received my medical degree from Wayne State University School of Medicine, and my background is in anesthesiology. I've also completed a uh, Master's of Public Health at Boston University School of Public Health. My concentration there was health services research and epidemiology. Uh, I began uh, my research training at the uh, Department of Veterans Affairs Center of Excellence for Health, for health Services Research in the Boston area. Uh, there I developed an expertise in quality of care and uh, patient safety. I am specifically interested in adverse events that occur from medical errors, specifically uh, post-discharge adverse events uh, that result from the uh, transition between the hospital to home. Uh, the reason I'm interested in, in post-discharge adverse events is because they're five to seven times uh, more likely to occur when you compare them to in-hospital adverse events. I uh, recently completed an R01 ARC study as the principal investigator on post-discharge adverse events. Uh, this was the first study that actually included uh, rural patients. We identified equal numbers of urban and rural patients in the study that were discharged from a hospitalist service of a community hospital. We identified the incidence rate and also risk factors associated with these events. The incidence rates uh, were surprisingly similar in both populations at 28%. The statistically significant uh, risk factors in the urban population were hypertension, diabetes, and the number of secondary discharge diagnosis. Uh, Non-statistical associations in, with rural patients included uh, coronary artery disease and primary discharge diagnosis. Most of these uh, adverse events were uh, associated with uh, medications. Over 70% were medication-related adverse events. Uh, other events that we identified were management errors, uh, therapeutic errors, diagnostic errors, and hospital-acquired infections. Our results uh, have been published uh, recently in the uh, Journal of General Internal Medicine. And uh, the reason that I'm actually interested in uh, ambulatory care is so that I can learn more about it, learn about the methodology, so that I I'm able to uh, identify adverse events in the ambulatory setting because I believe that there is, is a link between uh, post-discharge adverse events and adverse events in the ambulatory setting. My uh, mentor is uh, Dr. Victoria Neal and uh, my goal is to at one point to meet all of you and so that we can collaborate and uh, learn more about your uh, research as well. Thank you.